Now this is more like it. Get back on that elevator now. Why? We are not staying in this hotel. Beth frequented this hotel before we're married, and I have stayed here since. We'll be recognized. Ain't you ever heard the term hide in plain sight? Hm. Haven't you? Well, yes, I have, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. We can't go back to the Springfield Inn because old Felix might show up again. Shit. And there's no way I'm staying at any of them dives you've been dragging me around to all morning. This is it, Eddie. I'm parking it here. You're the most excruciatingly difficult woman that I... All right, all right, never mind. We will stay at the towers under the condition that you remain disguised at all times, you speak to no one, and you dedicate yourself exclusively to your studies. Excuse me. Last time you quizzed me, did I or did I not ace every question? With the exception of your ex-husband's name. And on other names and faces, you were hesitant. That's why you have to keep on drilling, Lorelei. When you bump into Beth's family and friends, you have to recognize them immediately. Yes, sir. Good. I'll go check in. In the meantime, you sit in this corner, you face the wall. Do you have that crib sheet I made up for you? Yeah, I got it. Good. I got it. It's right. Study it. Oh, I'll study it, darling. But I won't follow all your orders. Mm. Hey. Hello. What can I do for you, ma'am? I'll have a um, pink lady. You got it. Mm. That's my mama. Lillian. That's my rich ex. Oof. Why can't I remember your name, sugar? You sure are a good-looking thing, too. There you go. A pink lady for the pretty lady. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A pink lady. I haven't seen one of those in ages. Into. I'll get down off your high horse. There's no harm done. Lorelei, that man was once your father-in-law. It's incredible he didn't recognize you as it was. But if you had taken off your sunglasses in that one capricious act, you would have ruined everything. And everything would be what, exactly? Excuse me? I want to know what the stakes are, Eddie. In U.S. dollars and cents, you stop being so vague with me on the money count, and maybe I'll start following orders. Well, I have figures for you. But they're so large, I don't think you could comprehend them. Try me. Well, go on. I'll be a princess and wear a tiara and order people around that much I got. But how much is it worth? All right. I'll keep this simple. Do you really like this hotel? Yeah. Good. If our plan works, you can buy it. Get out. And Rolls, and a yacht, and a hundred other toys. But only if you do as I say, and start taking this seriously. your benefactress left while you were in the men's room. I guess she decided that you weren't a good investment after all. Pity. Now you'll have no one to visit you in prison when they lock you up and throw away the key. Don't you ever tire of your empty threats? Ah, but this is no empty threat. I just spoke with Philip. He has proof you murdered Beth. 